is Moon47. It's the fucking underground. In today's video, I have a weird situation to report on. My boy, Young Smiley, is locked up behind them chains, locked up behind them walls, doing hard time for a DUI charge. I know the fans of Young Smiley are going nuts. Free Young Smiley, free Young Smiley, and me too. And you know what I'm going to say too? Free my boy Young Smiley if he was actually locked up and in jail. Um, I don't know who needs to hear this, but my boy Young Smiley is not locked up. Um, this is all a hoax so he could promote his newest music video. Um, I know you guys are thinking, wait, Moon, huh? What do you mean he's not in jail? You didn't see his his mug shot that wasn't totally uh, taken on the iPhone XR. You, how was what? He's locked up. He, you saw the court documents on his page. Um, yeah, that's why I'm making this video because I've seen the court documents. I've seen his mug shot. I am here to explain how all of this is a hoax and literally fake. And if you believe this, you're a fucking idiot and a moron. Um. Let's get into the video. First, as we see here on the screen, we have a, a perfect quality screenshot of my boy, Young Smiley. Um, this jail must be really rich. I've never seen such a clear mug shot like this. This boy look like a model in this bitch, huh? As we can see in this uh, mug shot, quote unquote, um, my boy is looking really tense. Looking like he's, you know, going through a lot right now. I understand that. You just got locked up for 40 years. I don't understand, Young Smiley. I understand. Um, This is by far the cleanest mugshot I ever seen. My boy, uh, my boy got the iPhone XR mugshot in this hoe. Really, really nice picture. Um, I don't know what jail takes mugshots off a iPhone. But I guess Young Smiley's the first, right? Next on the screen, we have a totally non-Photoshop press release from Elmira Police Department, 3117 East Church Street. Um, definitely not fake. Um, we have Sergeant Christopher Zelko on the case. Contact number 607-737-5626. I also called this number and left a voicemail to this sergeant, so hopefully he gets back to me at a reasonable time, so I could keep you guys updated on this uh, case. My boy apparently was reckless driving under the influence. Let me, let me just stop. I can't do this. Let me just stop. First of all, if you're going to fake a arrest, at least have it be something cool, not a DUI. Who are you, a fucking redneck? I am now going to read my boy Young Smiley's story of why he was arrested. Um, let's go. On July 31st, 2021, approximately 1.15 a.m., Jay Sean was stopped while driving a white 2010 Buick LaCrosse driving eastbound through Walnut, Walnut Street with no personal identification in the city of um, Elmer. Um, blah, blah, blah. He was stopped with two other individuals who were under the influence legally. Nigga, what? Um, Vandermark was stopped for failure to stay within one lane traffic and reckless driving seen by Sergeant Christopher Zelko. Um, definitely. Um, definitely the sergeant himself uh, saw this. Um. Definitely. Um, on early Sunday morning, further investigation after the stop of Van Mark showed that his blood alcohol was 0 0.13 and 12 ounces and 12 ounces of marijuana was also confiscated from the vehicle. Blah, blah, blah. His belt, his trial is August 3rd. Definitely one of the most stupid things I ever read. Made no sense. Um definitely horrible photoshop skills uh a press release why are they doing a press release for such a minor thing um nobody got knows no 
car accident or anything so it's a press release um no it doesn't work like that it looked it looks like a five-year-old just came up with this plan and rushed it out um i'm pretty sure there should have been more thought into this fake arrest definitely because um i kind of thought it was believable from very very first glance without digging into this but as i dig into this and see all these kids dming me uh going crazy because this guy's arrested it made me uh start one uh worrying about these guys because like i said i legit do worry about you underground artists man because not a lot of people look out for y'all so when i see stories like this you know i get a soft heart but seeing how this guy lied about being arrested wow there's tons of people getting arrested this this is low as fuck um if i'm not mistaken this is the same guy who um, sings at grave sites. We got a chopper with a side. still green me when I walk inside. Red jazz niggas still rocking gas. I just put a four time to get slapped. The first time we linked, I'ma break her back. I walk with a shoddy fucking little strap. I run in a beamer smoking hella gas. I won't message back. Catch um, I'm not the one to judge people come ups, but that is a weird way to come up but like i said if it worked for him it worked for him personally that is kind of low in my book and this is no surprise this is really low definitely definitely a uh sick way to um try to promote yourself but he could have definitely did something else um you know your fans are a whole bunch of kids they're gullible so this was pretty sick even for you i want you to come out and say that you are not arrested and if i see any more promotion that you are still in jail i'm gonna make another video bro this shit is not cool um it's moon 47 it's fucking underground and i am out